Today's chart type tutorial is all about the area chart. Now, please keep in mind, this is a part of our chart type tutorial whereby we cover every single chart type on TradingView. If you go to our YouTube channel, you can watch videos on candles, on volume footprints, and much more. And our help center has a plethora of information as well to read. Today's video, we're covering area charts. Now, the first thing to know about area charts is they are quite similar to line charts in the fact that they are showing the price of the symbol you are looking at, in this case, AMD, plotted based off of the time interval you have selected. In this case, we're looking at a daily chart and illustrating that by connecting those price points as a line across the chart. So if you've ever drawn a chart back in school where you plotted price on graph paper and then connected the dots, that's essentially what you're looking at with a line chart and also an area chart. The key difference of the area chart though is that the area underneath the line chart is shaded in. And that area is shaded in to fill in the space from the price point that it most recently traded at on the line and the bottom of your scale. And it's meant to give you perspective on how high or low price has gone on the chart, as well as to make sure the chart is visually appealing to you, either because it's easier to read, makes more sense, or perhaps you are creating a research report, or it's just the way you like to view your charts with the area filled in under the line. So this is very important to note. And what's key about the area charts are the design capabilities. That after all is why a lot of people will use area charts. Because what we can do with the area chart is customize the line color that's connecting the price. So if we want it to be red, we just click red. If we want it to be white, we just click white. If we want the line to be thicker, we can change the thickness of the line down here. It says thickness as needed. Now here's where the area chart is different from the line chart or potentially other similar charts as well, is that you can fill in the area below the line on the area chart. This is how it gets its name, area chart. And you can combine more than one color and change the opacity. So let's just go through an example. How about we want this color underneath this area chart to be an even darker blue at the top. And as we go lower, to actually almost turn into a red, just to remind us that that's, that's bearish, that's the red zone. So let's go ahead and click. We see here fill. We've got blue already selected. Let's take a darker blue. We can see it changed already. The opacity is going to determine how intense the color is and if anything gets through it. Let's go ahead and make it quite. Change the opacity to 93%. Now let's add the red, which we mentioned. It's a little bit too red. Let's go ahead and change that. This lighter red, I think, looks rather good. And now let's change the opacity. So you can see the red is really shaded in here down at the bottom when the opacity is low. But watch it get more intense. Now we have combined this blue with this red to create this color combination. Here is the area chart that we have just created. Now, for those of you who have already watched our videos on line charts, you know that the price source is rather important because the price source determines how the line is drawn on the area chart. Right now, the price source is set to close. We are looking at AMD on a daily chart. It trades on the NASDAQ exchange. That means every day, depending on AMD's closing price, you are seeing that plotted on the chart. That is how the lines are connected, AMD's closing price. So if we hover our mouse over this point, we see it was Friday, the 7th, June, 2024. That was AMD's closing price. And if we can, if we zoom in here and then move our mouse over the chart, what we're looking at is AMD's closing price being connected day by day. Where did it close at the end of that day? If we go to a 30 minute chart, well, because we still have the chart price source set to close, we are observing the closing price every 30 minutes. But now here's where things get interesting and complex, depending on the trader you are. You can change the price source to change how the line's constructed. So if you only wanted to chart the highs every 30 minutes, click high, and now the line is connecting the points between the high points every 30 minutes. Or perhaps you don't want the high, you wanna find an average of sorts. Well, keep in mind that OHLC stands for open, high, low, close. That means H plus L is high plus low. So we can take the high, add it to the low, this is within every 30 minutes, and divide by two to get an average price. Give me the highest point, 
add, the, add it to the lowest point, divide by two, get me the average. Every 30 minutes, click OK. And now we've constructed a 30 minute chart of AMD showing its high plus low divided by two average point every 30 minutes being plotted. So this is the tutorial to the area chart. We hope that it helps you get started. We hope it shows you some of the beautiful capabilities to create a chart design of your preferred choice and how to connect these specific points on the line to construct a chart that you want plotted and the data that you want to see. And never forget as well that you, of course, can change your trading session. You trade stocks, you're going to see extended trading hours, as well as the time zone. So you can show exchange here and at the bottom. We're recording this, this video from New York City. We're looking at the NASDAQ exchange based in New York City. That's 11.26 a.m. So our chart at the time scale down here is set to the exchange, but we can actually set this chart to any time zone we wish, depending on where we are in the world and how we like to view our specific time at the bottom of the chart. But nevertheless, this tutorial is giving you the fundamentals to get started with the area chart. And if you go to our YouTube channel, Help Center, we have walkthroughs on all of these chart types so that you know how to use every aspect of TradingView. Thanks so much for watching.